It's morning. I can't sing. Anyway. It's Saturday morning. And hello, you are watching the Rainbow and Bloom channel where I discuss, I discuss living and thriving with the autoimmune illness known as scleroderma. I'm Melissa, in case you're new to the channel. Uh, today it occurred to me something that I think you should do, another thing I think you should do in the morning when you wake up, if you can. And I think you can. And that's journaling. I was writing in my journal this morning and I thought about how um, cathartic it is. Like I just published my book and that was a very cathartic experience too, but on a daily basis, being able to, you know, write, just get out your feelings, get out what, um, what you're thinking about, what you're hoping for, problems you want to resolve, uh, all kinds of stuff, even, you know, even things directly related to your illness, your doctor's appointments or whatever, but writing things out privately, you know, like just fleshing out your private thoughts, going back and reading them if you want to, uh, but that's not even necessary. It's like the process of writing things out helps you gain clarity and it can actually relieve some of the anxiety you feel. Um, you know, it's just a way to kind of exercise emotions. And first thing in the morning, especially if you had a dream, you could write about your dreams. It's really important to write about dreams because dreams tell us it's like the universe speaks to us when we're sleeping and we have these dreams. You ever have a dream that's like he just figured something out that you were racking your brains about when you were awake or some dreams recur, they keep coming back. I'm not talking about nightmares. Nightmares can tell us stuff too, but just dreams. Um, because I've had really powerful dreams that came true. Like I dreamt something, especially if it's coming back to me over and over again, I kind of braced myself like this might happen. And there's one incident where it was so exact that it kind of scared me a little bit, but dreams are important. So you can document your dreams so you don't forget them. Cause you know, when you're in between being awake and being asleep, you can lose it, you know? Um, so that's a good practice and I'm practicing holding on to my dreams too uh, because a lot of times when I go to write it down, it'll disappear too if it doesn't disappear when I'm fully awake. So even that is really important too. So that's, that's my recommendation for the day. Just try to start journaling. Um, I like, let me show you mine. I have two because one of the habits that I um, am developing is writing down uh, what's inspiring me for the day. So what am I going to focus on for the day? And it can be love myself. It can be, you know, accomplish a specific goal for the day or whatever. What's inspiring you today? So I write that in this journal, which I love. I think I got this at um, Marshall's or TJ Maxx or something, but I really like this one but this one is my favorite i have so many versions of these it's by pooch and you can always find this at um at marshall's you know tj maxx stores like that they always have these tuesday morning i love tuesday morning the one by me they have a big stationary section and they have a lot of journals like these and these are always in this size and you know, they make other stationery too, which I really love. And I'm gonna tell you something in another video about that. But so these are my two go-tos, they're pretty. This one has a little pocket for a pen. And the pen I use, it happens to also be pink and white. And this is from the School of Womanly Arts. <laughs> but um, 
yeah, an uh, in inspirational message in the front. Both of them tend to have, uh, this is, the first one is a different company, but this one, um, Pooch always has some kind of scripture, and this one has an ecclesiastic scripture. So, um, yeah, so these are my babies. These are where my thoughts go. Inspiration and other stuff. Um, and it, it really helps a lot just to flesh things out, especially if you're feeling bad. Um, maybe you're feeling isolated, frustrated, whatever it is. Um, it helps. It helps a lot, you know. So, um, that's what I wanted to tell you for the day. That's my tip. And I have the book. The book is available now on Kindle. The book, I don't think I ever told you on my channel. The book is called How Death Saved My Life. It's How Death Saved My Life by Melissa A. Mavor. And it's on Amazon right now. It's on Amazon Kindle. And it's also available in paperback. And so yeah, take a look. I think on Kindle it's about $3.50, $3. And it's not a very long book. It's about, I think it's 68 pages or something like that. And so you can read it. And definitely if you do choose to, um, to read it, you can also actually download a sample. You know, on Amazon they let you download samples before you buy. So you can do that, you can start off that way. But if you do read it, read the whole book, not just the sample, then I would really appreciate it if you would leave a review, an honest review of the book. Um, I talk about my journey and um, you know my the struggles and also you know it's not a heavy book it's a heavy topic and there are areas where it's heavy but I try to make it as lighthearted as I could and easy, as easy to read as I could and um, yeah so and it's, it's kind of a revealing book too personally but I got over that and I just wrote it so uh, I hope you get a chance to check it out, How Death Saved My Life. And I hope that, you know, you get some kind of, if you get anything from this channel, I think you'll get even more from the book because I go into some details that I don't hear. Um, and I, I talk about certain things in the book that I don't get into here. Things that I don't want to speak out loud, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, are in the book and so I've gotten good feedback so far um, so I'm, I'm very happy I'm very happy with how everything has turned out so far so anyway get to journaling and I will talk to you again very soon remember be hopeful be positive keep centered okay and take care of yourself <laughs> bye